Um, I really just work on tuning up like the skills I have, um, extending my range on the three-point line, shooting bad at the free throw line, finishing with contact, and just, you know, the small details and the small things that help win games. Has that three-point line been an issue for you all so far, or have you all responded? No, we still, as you can see from the blue and white scrimmage, we shot pretty good. Um, so moving it back, I don't think it affected us. Um, personally, it was just a great outlook, like learning from someone as great as Coach Staley and how she looks at the game and how she coaches. And then when we were playing, we were playing against grown women. So for me to be able to compete over there against, you know, people who are 30 and up, it was just great because it's like that's what I'm going to be playing against when I make it to the league. It's just an added threat. Um, Coach G always has the wings in the post working on moves and rebounding. So if I can go to the post on the smaller guards that are guarding me, then it's just going to be more points for us on the board. What's that Fort Campbell experience like? <sighs> I mean, during it, nobody liked it. But overall, I think it was very beneficial. Um, it really brought us together and you know, showed how resilient we can be and how we can fight together through adversity. What did you learn about yourself during that experience? Um, I just learned, I really helped, it really helped me be a better leader because um, I know it was hard for everyone, especially me, but for me to you know, push through and show my teammates like I can keep going and so can I'm gonna help y'all keep going. Um, it's just good for me and us as a whole. It definitely feels a little bit more relaxed. Like, I feel like everyone's comfortable and we'll, like everyone knows their role and knows what they need to be doing. And it's just like, we all get along so well. It's like, we don't even worry about, you know, the outside noise and stuff. Have you noticed any difference in Coach LD's demeanor now that she's really entering her first official year as head coach? Um, she's, I would say this year, like she knows what to expect, so she's, you know, straight to the point more about business and just making sure that we know what we need to be doing or else, like, we're going to lose it straight like that. Um, she's definitely holding us more accountable of our actions and, like, when we do something wrong on the court, she's going to point it out and make sure that we do it right the next time. Yeah. Coach Elsie had mentioned about five times that this was going to be a team effort and it wasn't just going to be Um, with my teammates, like I just, like you said, it is open. So I tell them, I say, hey, like I need y'all to be willing to work hard, um, knock down the open shots, because I'm a very unselfish player. So I'm going to find whoever's open. I'm going to find whoever's hot. I just need to count on them to, you know, knock the shots down or be willing to run through a brick wall for me as I would for them. Um, I feel super prepared. Like with this team, it's actually not hard to lead them because they're so willing to work hard and you know sacrifice themselves for the benefit of the team. So, like anybody on this team can really call themselves a leader um, because we're all on the same page. Coach Elsie said you all want to be a speed team this year. Just to you, what does that mean when you're actually out there? Um, basically, just spreading the floor and you know getting space within ourselves so it's not like one big cluster like in the middle of the floor. Um, just being able to run at all times and then, you know, if we get tired, we'll go to kick, quick sub and then be right back in it. Coach 
Um, with Dre, I feel like she's matured a lot um, over the off season. Like, usually she would just be like one speed, but now we're like, we like let her get the ball and she can go make a play like coast to coast. Um, and she finishes a lot more around the rim, around the rim, and very well on balance and stuff. Um, I think we definitely see those culture changes. Um, she's very big on it, so it's like hard to miss, really. Um, with her, like, you know what she's trying to accomplish and what she's trying to do, and we're just here to make it happen. Ada, uh, seems like she's not backing down, even though she's the youngest girl How do you see her confidence on the floor so far? Um, like, it comes every day. Like, she's not going to back down, like you said. Like, she's just going to full speed. She's going to go at you. Regardless of how old you are, how big you are, like she's gonna go at you because she knows like that's what we're looking for and that's what we want her to do. Brian, you're not the same person behind the microphone that you were when you were a freshman. You're much more comfortable. You speak more eloquently. What has that process and transition been been like for you? Um, well, when you do media, as much as they have me do media, you you really don't have a choice but to you know mature a lot, and then Evan helps me a lot on, it gives me speaking points and what to say and what not to say. Um, it's just, like, if I'm more open with y'all, then it's the less questions that I have to answer. What, what are your thoughts generally on, on mental health? And we've heard about Simone Biles and Naomi Osaka being a little bit hesitant to speak in front of the media. What, what are your general thoughts on, on um, that? Mental health is big, but, I mean, I feel like if you can't, do something because of your mental health, you should definitely, you know, take the time that they took um, because at the end of the day, like, it can make it worse for not only mentally but physically as well. But with mental health, I feel like talk to, like, ask for help, talk to people if you need it, um, and just overall take, take, take the time to get better. Um, it's super important, but like it's gonna happen. I I cannot lose to him again. <laughs> I can't, he's just gonna he's gonna be like, oh yeah, you never beat me. I'm gonna say. Does he well, give you a hard time after those games? He does give me a hard time after each game. Not yet. Not now. Um, I feel like it's kind of both. So I feel like it did kind of fly by, but then COVID happened, so it just like made everything like a blur. Um, but I mean, here we are. It's my last year. Um, I'm super excited for it. Um, Um, I think it was super fun playing against, you know, alumni and our practice team. Um, it was just great for us overall because we didn't have to use so much energy um, to be playing like five on five within ourselves. Um, and just an extra look for the fans as well so they could see what we look like against somebody who's not us, like we don't know as well. Um, I mean, we do have a lot to work on offensively and defensively, but I, I think it was great to, you know, get out there and showcase and then just have something that we can go back and look at on the film and see what we need to get better at. Two more in the room, then we're going to go to Zoom. We'll start with Maggie and John. Coach Elsie also said she's being sure it's the best shape of your life right now. Would you, do you agree with her on that? Um, I do agree with that. Um, I feel like I can definitely feel that I've gotten stronger and faster. Um, and just overall as a whole, like, I feel like I look better. Everyone's like, dang right, like, you look good this year. Um, so, I just, like, I feel it. Like, I feel like I am in the best shape. Yeah, she mentioned, like, a really strong emphasis on nutrition and your trainer. How much does that sort of play a role in it, just paying more attention to what you eat and how you train every day? Um, 
well, with the training with Coach Taylor, like, he's pushing us, like, he's pushing us out of our comfort zone so much. Like, we really have no choice but to get stronger um, and faster. And then just eating, like, I mean, I talked to my nutritionist, Monica, and she was like, I mean, I don't really think you need to change anything. Like, you're in the best shape. But it's just a mental thing and, like, being able to hold yourself accountable. John, and then we'll go to the sitting up there. You always look so calm and collected. On the court, you play with an edge. You play with a chip on your shoulder. What chip are you playing with on your shoulder this year? Um, this year, I'm just playing to show that everyone that I am the best player on the court um, and leave no doubt about it that I'm working hard. I'm giving everything I got for myself and for my teammates. We'll go to Zoom. Chris, I'll let you take over for a couple minutes. Okay, we'll start with Howard. Go ahead, Howard. Thank you, Chris. Go ahead. Thank you for the time. Um, I, I got two of you if I could. Um, the first is just given the fact that um, most of you are NBA title evaluators, really there's been much of a doubt about it. You would be the first overall pick in the upcoming draft. I'm wondering how often you visualize that and how much you let that how with um, your day to day work and the better of your life. Um, I really, honestly, I don't think too much about the WNBA. Because, I mean, anything could happen. Like, I could drop to the second round if I don't do what I need to be doing here. So I just focus on making myself better over time, making my teammates better, and making sure we're all on the same page, make sure we're all, you know, working hard and trying to win. And I guess related to that, when it comes to the work you're putting in uh, for this year, how much do you think having this extra season, um, you know, coming back Uh, the biggest thing so far this year has been strength and conditioning. Um, like I said, Coach Taylor, he has us working hard every day. We lift heavy and maintain uh, a good strength. And then he always challenges us in our runs and making sure we're making the times. Um, but then outside of that, it's just, you know, I know I have to work hard for myself or my team in order to, you know, be the number one pick. Like, I have to get better, like I can't stay the same. Thank you very much, appreciate it. Very great. Ryan, I guess to kind of follow up on that, um, I guess with, with coming back, uh, when, you, when you had opportunities to, to maybe go to that next level, and yet here you are uh, for your senior season, um, what, what's been your driving uh, force all along in terms of this level, and, and, and what is your motivation um, I would say my motivation is probably my teammates. Um, they're so confident in me, and they all want the best for me. They're all like, um, like, Rod, like, I'm so proud of you. And they tell me that I can be good. And like, you know, like my coaches, they're like, yeah, we need you to lead. We need you to, you know, hold everyone accountable. So, like, I don't want to let them down because they're looking up to me. But like, I know I also look up to them, and I'm like, my teammates are really like that. Like, I can give them the ball and just get out the way. Um, but they really keep me going, and, like, I don't know where I would be if I didn't have them, honestly. Um, yeah, our team goals never change. So we want to obviously SEC championship, Final Four, national championship, um, very much things that we can accomplish and things that we can definitely achieve if we just keep working hard like we are now. Um, but I mean, y'all will see that during the season.
I'm just going to say safe and say all of them. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thanks, everybody. We'll uh, dismiss Ryan. And